Hi everybody, uh, this is Peter. Um, this is a sample playthrough of the uh, golf board game Ryder Cup Replay. Uh, published by um, John Gardner at uh, sportsreplays.net. And um, so I'm just going to uh, show you a few things about the game, how to play it, uh, what comes when you order it. Um, uh, the copy of the game that I have is actually uh, one uh, when he was still uh, shipping out the printed versions of the game, so um, that, that's what you, this is what you get in the printed version. Uh, he only sells it by PDF now to cut down on shipping costs and stuff. So um, anyway, um, you get uh, you know the standard set of rules, um, and for each course you get a um, uh, there's a, a single sheet uh, for each hole. So what you have here is like a, a map of the hole with these uh, numbers on it so uh, you'll see when this happens that uh, you roll a dice and uh, the result gives you a, a numbered result and tells you approximately where the ball lands and uh, this chart here tells you how to um, um, that's how you resolve uh, where, the, where the ball lands so uh, basically you roll on the golfer's card get a, a letter result then you look on this letter result uh, say from the T and then you what, depending on the letter result, and that gives you the number, and then you look at the number on the uh, on the court on the um, hole card to find out where it is. Um, just a little quick word: uh, if you have, if you're playing, you know, a head to head, like or not head to head, but with, like with the Ryder Cup thing, and both both teams end up in um, sort of landing area five. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're the balls are right next to each other. It just means that uh, they're both going to have about the same kind of approach shot or the next shot coming up. So. Um, yeah, so those are the hole cards. Uh, the golfer cards uh, look like this. Um, there's, a, a, there's a, depending on what club you're using, there's driver, uh, long iron, mid iron, short iron, uh, recovery shot. Uh, S means uh, if you're playing safe, and G means you uh, can gamble on a shot. So you read uh, two dice and uh, get the result from that. Um, it shows the uh, we're going, to, we're going to be playing the um, the 2012 Ryder Cup at Medina, so I'm just going to be playing a foursomes match, and this just shows uh, his record. Um, Garcia's record uh, during that Ryder Cup, he was two two and zero, and uh, and then at the bottom uh, they have uh, each player's rated uh, has a putting rating, uh, a pressure putt rating, uh, a pressure rating, and an instant rating. The instant number is if you want to do an instant match result, where I think you just roll one or two dice and get uh, an instant result for the match instead of playing out uh, shot by shot. Um, there's also a couple of charts. There's a putting chart here, and uh, there's one uh, neat little thing here is um, on the back of the uh, front cover is this chart here where you can sort of keep track of the matches as they go along. Um, I can show it to you later, but uh, you get these little um, tokens showing uh, which match, and there's different colors, like there's a red one and a blue one, so you can see at a glance if you have, like, you know, f say on singles day, you know, if there's 12 matches going on, um, you've got 12 different colored tiles here, and you can see uh, at a glance quickly uh, who's who's leaning and what. Um, so you can sort of see, uh, like, for instance, you know, this is match number one, and uh, that's hole number eight. So we'll say, uh, at, you know, Europe would be two up after uh, eight holes in this thing. And then if you had like, uh, you know, the second match uh, through seven holes, it's all square. Things like that. So anyway, I'll show you that later. Um, okay, so I can uh, sort of get right to it here. Um, I just use my own sort of uh, uh, custom score sheet. That I've uh, printed out. Um, one thing that uh, that you will need is a um, sort of a scrap sheet. I just got a little sheet of paper where I write down the numbers of the positions where everybody ended up, so that um, I can remember. Because uh, I get easily distracted and uh, I'll forget where I am. So if I have it written down, then I can remember what I've done. So okay. Anyway, so um, we're on the. Uh, I played 14 holes of this match. Uh, it's the foursomes match between uh, Luke Donald and Sergio Garcia against uh, Phil Mickelson and Keegan Bradley. And I've played uh, 13 holes. No, sorry, 14 holes. 
and uh, what happened in that last one? So, um, and uh, Europe is leading uh, one up. So, um, yeah, Europe had a chance, uh, a good chance to go up two up on the 14th hole, but uh, Keegan Bradley made a, a 10 foot par putt, clutch putt to uh, have the hole. So, um, oh no, sorry, I'm mistaken. Uh, the Euro Europeans actually birdied that hole because they got on the par five and two. So Europe is two up uh, with four holes to play in this match. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, play this next hole. Um, so the 15th hole is a, uh, a par four. And, uh, and we'll just uh, go ahead. And so since this is the 15th hole, uh, Luke Donald will be teeing off. So I roll a seven. So I look on Luke Donald's card in the uh, driver column, and a seven says uh, C. So then I look, <clears throat> I look at the whole card, I look at the tee shot, and I look in column C, and it gives me a number four. So that means um, they're just in uh, the uh, the rough, just off the fairway. So that's where Garcia will be shooting from. So I'll just write down number four so I know where his shot's going to come from. Okay, Phil Mickelson's going to tee off for the U.S. And I rolled a seven. A seven on Mickelson's driver column is a B. And the B column with the driver is uh, result number three. So they're... Uh, on the right hand side of the fairway a little bit closer to the hole. So that's where Bradley would be shooting his shot from. So, uh, so European Europe is away because they're further away from the hole. And um, it's uh, zone four. So if you look on the, the card here, that means it's going to be a, a short iron shot. So we're going to be reading from Garcia's short iron column. So I rolled an eight. So Garcia's result is an A+, plus, so it's an excellent shot from Garcia, from zone 4, and uh, zone 4, an A+, plus, and we had a, a letter C. So when you get a letter result on an approach shot, that means the, 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 the shot is uh, landed on the green. So now we look at the uh, putting chart to get the putting distance. So we have the different zones of the, uh, the putting surface, and uh, he landed on zone C. So we just have to roll a D6 to find out how far away from the hole he is. So we roll a 3, and that's uh, 15 feet. So Donald will be putting for birdie from 15 feet. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so Keegan Bradley is going to be um, hitting from uh, area three, which is also a short iron shot. And I roll an eight, and that's an A plus. So A plus from zone three uh, says zone C as well. So I roll one die, and I roll a six, so that's 20 feet away. So, um, so, um, so. Uh, the U.S. will be putting first. Uh, Mickelson will be putting from 20 feet. And um, oh, yes. So um, I'll just uh, show you a, a, a couple of things here. Um, so we <clears throat> so we look at the putting chart. It gives the the various distances from from the hole here. So you read the appropriate column. So um, Americans are 20 feet away, so we'll be reading from this column here. And we're rolling, rolling 8, and it says tap in wide. So he's very close to making it, but it's just a tap in, so uh, the Americans get a par on that hole. And so um, Luke Donald's going to be putting for birdie from 15 feet. And I roll a 5. So we're going to read from this column here, the 12 to 15 foot column. The rule of five says 12 inches past. So uh, it's up to you how you want to handle short putts like that, but uh, since it's a Ryder Cup, uh, 
we'll just say that uh, that's a gimme. So they they both get a par. Um, so uh, Europe is still two up with uh, three holes to play. So I can actually uh, keep track of this going along here. I've already played the first match and uh, what. Um, between McElroy McDowell and they beat Fiora and Snedeker uh, six and five, so um, so I'll just leave that there. Uh, Sixteen, and then they've played fifteen holes, and Europe is two up. In match number two. Okay. Okay, so let me go to the sixteenth hole. Now. Uh, that this is where the pressure ratings come in. Um, you only use the pressure um, ratings on uh, holes um, 15 to 18 on the first two days. Um, I didn't do it on the, on the 15th hole there. I just wanted to show you just the regular mechanics of the hole. And then uh, you also use the pressure ratings um, on holes 12 to 18 on day three of the singles. So what you do is uh, you just roll an additional D6 uh, with each shot and refer to uh, this pressure chart and it's just going to adjust the results uh, up or down or maybe not at all. Okay so 16th hole um, so it's Garcia's turn to tee off and this is a par 4 so I rolled a 3 and a 3 result um, says S so that um, means you're going to be uh, um, looking at the, um, the streak uh, feature of the game so, um, uh, so it, there's, a, there's a few conditions to see what the result of the hole is. So um, the first thing is uh, we look at to see um, if, they won, if the uh, golfer won the previous hole and he's won two of the previous five and he's not lost a hole in the last five. So if we look back here, uh, Europe won uh, holes 13 and 14. And so uh, that condition is met. So um, it's an A+. Plus. So it's just showing that... Uh, you know, uh, Europe, Europe's on a roll, and uh, they're pumped up, so uh, Garcia's result is an A-plus on this, and that is zone one, which is uh, right in the middle of the fairway, and the, the longest one away. Okay, Bradley, I roll an eight, and he, he gets an A-plus, so they're both in zone one, so I'm just going to roll a, a D6 to see who's going to be away for the next one. So I roll a six, so the, I'll say the U.S. is away. Okay, so zone one is a long, long iron shot, and um, another feature I just want to show you about. Uh, there's certain um, thing uh, numbers here with an asterisk beside it, and that means uh, on those shots you can choose to uh, gamble, and uh, you would just read from the gamble column rather than from the whatever iron column. So in this case, uh, uh, Europe is two down with three to play, so we're going to have Mickelson gamble on this shot and. Um, I can just show you a little bit of a difference between Mickelson's and Bradley's gamble column. You can see uh, Mickelson's got, uh, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven A pluses, whereas Bradley only has uh, four A pluses in his gamble column. Just, I just wanted to show you the difference between the, the different players. Uh, these ratings are based on the actual um, uh, stats of how that golfer performed in that Ryder Cup. So. Okay, so Mickelson's going to gamble on this shot, so we're going to read from the G column. And uh, just to show you, this is, a, this is a long iron shot, so I rolled an 11. So um, Mickelson, if I, just, if I didn't gamble, um, uh, an 11 under the long iron column would be a C result for Mickelson, but since we're gambling, it's an A-plus result, so it's paid off. Um, and I forgot about the pressure thing, so I'm going to try to remember to do that for the next hole. Um, <clears throat> well, no, let's let's yeah, let's just uh, go. Let's just start in here anyway. Um, so it's an A plus. Now um, Mickelson's pressure rating is a B. So I roll a five, and zero means it's uh, no effect. So. So it's still an A-plus uh, result from zone 1, so that's uh, zone B 
on the, on the putting surface and I rolled a one so that means it's uh, uh, five feet away so excuse me Mickelson comes up with an excellent shot and uh, they're going to be putting for birdie from five feet so um, okay Donald is uh, going to be up next he's just going to um, He's just going to do a regular shot. He's not going to gamble. And I roll a four, and it's an A plus. So that's also zone B. And I roll a five. So that means he's nine feet away. So Garcia is going to be putting from nine feet for birdie. Um, now another thing uh, to show you here is um, each uh, hole has uh, a number, or it says. Uh, it, it'll say an N for normal or, or a 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, depending on how um, undulating the green is. So this is a green 2. So on the, on the putting chart, it shows you what the adjustments are. So for, for um, 2, it's a sloping green, so all distances uh, 12 feet and over, uh, you're going to be reading one column to the right instead of uh, the regular uh, column of the actual distance. <clears throat> um, in this case, uh, they're both within under 12 feet, so they're not going to be any adjust, and they're not going to be, you're going to be reading from the regular column. So Garcia uh, is going to be uh, putting for birdie here, and we're going to look at his pressure putt rating. Um, you don't know, like I said, you only use this uh, in the last four holes of the, of the foursomes and four balls matches. And uh, his pressure putt rating is an A, which happens to be the same as his regular putting rating. So. So, roll the two, which could be good, might not be good. So, um, so uh, he's nine feet away, and you roll the two, and it says, and you look in the eight to ten foot column, and so the putt is two foot short, two feet, two feet short. So they'll still have two feet left for par, but Bradley has a, a five foot putt for birdie. And I rolled a seven. Now, um, a seven. Uh, when you roll a four, seven, nine, or ten, um, when putting, you might have to look. Might have to be an adjustment to the um, the the column, which column you read, depending on the on the golfer's putting rating. So, um, since we're in the pressure situation, um, Bradley's pressure putt rating is A. His regular putting rating is A plus, so he doesn't quite do it. Didn't quite do as well under pressure. So, um, and sorry, um, on the putting chart, there's this putting rate adjustment. So, see the putting rating is A plus A whatever. So, he's an A, but the result roll is a seven. So, as so I roll seven, we read left one column on the putting chart. So instead of reading from the five to seven foot column, we're going to be reading from the two to four foot column. And the result is a hole out. So uh, Bradley makes the birdie, and the U.S. wins the hole. So now they're just one down, with three holes to play. Or two holes to play, sorry. Okay, so we got a very close match here. This is very exciting. All right, so now, excuse me, go on to the 17th hole. So, uh, Mickelson will be teeing off. This is a par three. And um, mid iron. So, roll a five, and that's an A on Mickelson's card. And an A from the T is in zone B. So, that's a very good shot. Roll the two, so they're six feet away for birdie. Okay, Luke Donald. Roll the six. And uh, that result is a B, so a B in the T shot is a C. And so we're up to uh, 15 feet. So it's a big advantage there to the Americans. So Garcia is going to be putting from 15 feet. Um, the green is, sorry, the green is normal, 
so there's no uh, no adjustments to the putting. Um, roll a six, so there's no not going to be any adjustment to uh, which column you're going to be reading from. So 12 to 15 foot column, we rolled a six, and it's a tap in short. So Garcia just misses, and they tap in for par. Um, so Bradley's going to be putting from six feet. Roll an 11. Six feet, 11, 12 inches short. So he just misses. So that's a par, and then uh, that's the match. Since they both have the hole. Oh no, sorry. sorry. No, it's not the match. There's still one down with one hole to play, so there's still a chance for them to have, have uh, 18. Or win 18 to uh, have the match. Okay. Yeah, okay, so let's try to remember to do the pressure thing here now. So we're on the 18th hole, so that means uh, in America's way, so Keegan Bradley would be chewing off. So we're rolled an 11, which is an X, which is the worst uh, possible result. But um, we'll look at his pressure uh, pressure rating. His pressure rating is an A. So we roll one die, and... Um, at the, the result is zero, so there's no there's no change. Um, but the, with a pressure rating of A, you can only have um, your uh, shot be um, shot result be augmented, I guess, to, for lack of a better word. Okay, so uh, so Bradley is an X uh, from the T, and that's uh, six. A result of six, which is in the bunker, the fairway bunker on the uh, to the right of the fairway. So that's not good. Um, Nicholson will be hitting out of the bunker. Okay, Garcia. Garcia, roll a six. It's an A plus. So that's zone one. So big advantage to the Americans here. So um, so Nicholson is going to be shooting here, and uh, because they landed in zone six, there's an asterisk, and uh, so. Since they're one down on the last hole here, I'm going to have them uh, do a gamble. And uh, it's going to be a recovery type, type shot. Uh, sorry, normally if, if he wasn't going to gamble, you would look on the, uh, the REC column of the golfer's card, the recovery column. But uh, since we're going to gamble, then he's going to... Uh... Yeah, okay, so uh, since this is a recovery shot, we're going to be rolling for the lie. And that might uh, dictate to what, actually what they do. Uh, so I rolled a 10. So that means there's no effect. So there'll be no effect to the, uh, to the, the shot result. Um, like if I roll a 3, a three, 4, or 5, then it'd be minus 1. So if the shot result was an, a B, then it would be downgraded to a C, for instance. So, so there's not going to be any um, uh, effect on the, the shot. So, um, so Nicholson's still going to gamble. And uh, roll a 10, that's another A+. Plus. So from that, from that bunker, uh, it's um, zone E of the uh, green, which is uh, the first, the furthest away, but uh, they are on the green. And I roll a 6. So he's, uh, the Americans are 60 feet away for Ferdy. So, and uh, Donald, it's just going to do a regular shot because uh, they're in quite an advantageous position here. So that's a long iron, and I rolled a ten, and it's a D. So they actually, he actually ends up just short of the green. So this makes things a little interesting. So um, I'll just show you here. Uh, his result was a seven. It's kind of hard to read here. Sorry, I got the light coming in the window here, and so he's just short of the green. So Garcia is going to be hitting from. Zone 7, which qualifies a short iron shot. I rolled a 4, it's an A+. Plus. A+. Plus. So the result on the hole card is an A question mark. So it's possible that he's hold, hold, hold it out. So I roll 1D6. And I rolled a 2. So if I rolled a 1, then he would have hold, hold that, that shot out. But he didn't. So it's, uh, and I rolled a two, so it's 12 inches on the hole. So 
that's just uh, pretty much tap in distance so they're in for par so so in order for the Americans to have this match uh, Bradley is going to have to uh, hold this putt and this is a um, they're 60 feet away which is the the farthest column you can be away if it's over 50 feet so um, even though the green is two you would read over to the right one column one column to the right but we're already at the furthest right column so so the only way you can hole it out I think is to if he rolls a two and this pressure putt rating is uh, no need uh, a so I rolled a nine with a, pr with a pressure putt rating of uh, a there's no effect on that if, if he was if he was um, if this is on an, uh, another hole um, like where pressure wasn't a factor here I would be using his A plus putter rating and a 9 would uh, mean that you would read to the left one column on the putting chart so roll a 9 and they're 7 feet short so uh, at best they can have the hole so they're just going to shake hands and um, and so the, the uh, Europeans uh, win one up so um, yeah, so basically that's uh, that's how you play it. So once once you get to, to learn the game, it's very simple uh, to use, very simple to play, and it goes uh, fairly quickly. And you get a lot of drama too. Which um, I first played this game three years ago, and I did a replay of the 1985 Ryder Cup from the Belfry, and uh, there was all sorts of it was it was great. It had all all the drama of watching it on TV. And I remember one hole where somebody hit it uh, to two to uh, six feet or something like that and then the, the other team hit it to two feet or something like that or or uh, somebody uh, one team was like uh, uh, 20 feet away with their putt and they sunk their birdie putt whereas the other team only had a seven foot putt and they missed there so for the birdie so it was uh, it, it's very exciting I really, really enjoy this game um, the, uh, I'm just going from memory here um, he has sets for um, uh, the three matches at the Belfry from the 80s and 90s, so from 85, 89, and 93. Um, the 2012 uh, one from Medina. And uh, and 2008 uh, matches from uh, Valhalla. And uh, on his website he says that there's a, a bunch of them coming soon, but uh, hopefully the, those will happen uh, sooner than later. Um, and he just recently came, came out with a... Um, all-time greats uh, golfers set for Ryder Cup so it has uh, golfers from throughout history you know from Walter Hagen up until uh, Fred Couples or something like that so um, oh yes uh, yes yeah, there's a couple of other ways this isn't the only way to play just sort of like shot by shot um, there's they, they do have uh, two other ways to play um, there's one called uh, the short game and basically uh, what it is is that you look at on the whole card. It has uh, it says uh, long, long game, long iron. So, um, uh, so the uh, that means that the key shot in this hole is, is a long iron shot. So what you do what you do is you uh, take uh, whoever um, you uh, read the, the results. You get your quality of shot result. It's called from uh, the long iron column. And then you uh, reference this uh, short game card um, result, and uh, and then the results here are from the point of view of the the golfer who had the honor on the hole. So so say uh, uh, the European golfer went first, and uh, his shot result quality of shot result was a B, and uh, the American his quality of shot result was an A. So you read here and it says a four foot putt to have. So that means the European golfer. Uh, would need to sink his four foot putt to have the hole and then that's it you would just you would just putt like you would normally would with the putting charts and get that or sometimes it's just, if there's a big difference in the quality of shot like you know one of them is an eight plus and the other one is an x then that means that uh, the golfer had the honors lost because uh, his result was an x and the other golfer had an a plus so and then there's an even uh, quicker thing with this instant match instant match thing where um, uh, you read uh, something called a, uh, you look at the, the numbered ratings and uh, you just roll I think a couple of times and uh, get a, um, a very quick result for uh, the whole match 
So if you wanted to play, you know, if you didn't want to play all of the, you know, four balls and foursomes matches or some some of the quick play some of the singles matches, you can. So, which is very nice. Um, so as I said, uh, sports um, sportsreplays.net is uh, where you can uh, order this from, um, and uh, it's a very exciting game. Um, you can, uh, if you want to play stroke play, uh, there there is some accommodations in the rules of, for what you have to do if you're going to uh, do stroke play. I think it, uh, that only comes in really with the uh, the streak result. If you roll a three on um, uh, the streak result, and uh, and then it's, it's just a little bit different if you're doing stroke play rather than match play. Anyway, um, hope you enjoy this video, and uh, I'd highly recommend that uh, if you're like playing uh, golf games, I uh, highly recommend this one. Thank you for watching.